hey guys hey guys your girl is back with another sweet treat from scratch today we're going to be making sweet potato bread i'm going to do this video a little bit different let's see how this works for us i'm going to put everything you need down in the description box but i'm going to tell you step by step what you're going to do so let's get started first you want to preheat your oven to 350. next you want to make sure you have your muffin pan or loaf pan ready the next step is going to be to sift your flour and your salt and your baking soda. So you want to sift all three of these inside this bowl. Now once that is sifted, you're going to add your nutmeg and you're going to add your cinnamon. Next, you want to get your whisk out and mix this, mix this, whisk this very well, guys. Now it is time to add your sugars and your oil and your butter. You want to mix this all together. And then after you mix this together, you're going to move to the next step. Now it is time before you add the two mixes that you incorporate the eggs. Now you don't want to put them all at one time. You want to mix a little at a time. And as you know, my eggs are mutilated once again. I have to remove those cores, guys. Don't judge me. Judge yourself because those cores are irritating to my inner soul, okay? So we're going to just mix these eggs up really well. And then we're going to incorporate the dry into the wet. So let's get these eggs mixed up, guys. I know y'all tired of hearing me say mix, 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 mix. You must always remember to scrape your bowl. Scrape your bowl because things get stuck on the outside and you want to make sure everything is mixed all together. So this is what it is going to look like before you start to incorporate the flour mixture into this wet mixture. Now here I'm going to take the time to mash and get these mixed up really well. It had strings in it and I wasn't trying to hear the strings. So what I'm going to do is rinse off my mixer and I'm going to end up taking these into another bowl and mixing them up because when you blend them with well mix them like this the strings get incorporated into the actual blender so it makes it much better for you to um put it inside the mixture and you don't have all those nasty little strings you ever had a sweet potato pie with all those strings disgusting so now what i'm doing is basically mixing the water and some flour and some water and the remaining of the flour into this mixture because the last thing you want to add in is going to be your um, vanilla so after the mixture of the two are together now you put that sweet potato in and these were baked sweet potatoes that I had made a couple days ahead and I just skinned them and put them in a bowl and uh, yeah they stayed in the refrigerator fine for a couple days so if you have too many sweet potatoes and you want to make this you can do the same thing so I just incorporated the sweet potatoes after mixing the two mixes together and then the last thing was mixing in my vanilla and guess what I'm doing scrape 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 in the bowl and that is it so now it is time to get these inside of my muffin pans so as you see, I had a change of heart. I decided to go with the loaf and 12 muffins. So that's what we're doing. And I'm just filling these up. You don't want to overfill them. Um, you can go just about three fourths of the way and they won't spill over into the muffin pan. So now you see that I'm putting the pecans in the rest of the mix. So that way my daughter that doesn't eat nuts won't have to worry about them being in the muffins. We know for sure none are in the muffins. So the Let's put the rest of the mix in this loaf pan and get this in the oven, guys. You want to set your oven to 45 minutes and you're going to check them because the muffins don't take as long as the loaf.
So basically what I'm showing you, I put them in for 45 minutes together and the muffins were done in about 23, 24 minutes. You just have to watch them. They actually could have came out a little bit sooner than this. I was busy doing something, so I kind of forgot about them, <laughs> but they didn't burn. So here you see me adding another 10 minutes to the 45 because the 45 is done and the bread is still not finished. So I want to add 10 more minutes because it's a thicker consistency and a thicker pan than the muffin. So it's going to take longer, but you need to keep checking it because all ovens are different. The best way to know if your bread is done, you can stick a toothpick or a skewer or something really thin that's not going to damage the bread inside of it. If it comes out clean like this, you are ready and it is ready to cool off and come out of the oven. So we're going to be making the cinnamon cream cheese icing for these muffins and the bread. I have pecans, almond milk, cream cheese, cinnamon, vanilla, butter, and powdered sugar. Let's get started. Now there is no method to this madness and all you're going to do is mix all of these ingredients together. I will have these in the description box because it's easier for you to see them, to write them down and follow me than to try to hear me and go along with the video. So everything that I'm putting in this bowl will be in the description box and that way you can follow along. So what you do is get everything incorporated in there except for the pecan. So you're going to put the vanilla, the cinnamon, the butter and the um, milk and the cream cheese in the bowl along with the powdered sugar and then you're just going to blend it together now i like to kick it up a notch with a little bit of lemon because the lemon makes the cream cheese taste more flavorful like you really get that cream cheese flavor popping out of this cream this cream cheese icing so yeah that was a lot of cream cheeses wasn't it so anyways um once you get that in there you want to slowly start your mixer because this stuff will fly everywhere um and just blend it really well it does not take a lot of liquid you see how much i put in there like literally it doesn't take much at all to get this um mixed and nice consistency for your actual muffins in your bread and that's me showing you that i kicked mine up a notch with my lemon juice if you do not have pastry piping bags, you can use a Ziploc bag. That's what I do because my pastry piping bags always bust on me. So yeah, get you a Ziploc bag and cut the very, very tip of the corner. And also, this is a great way to store it into a little container and you can use the rest of the icing if you don't use it because I didn't use it all today. So you just take it and zigzag and do whatever, make shapes, circles, letters, triangles, whatever. I don't know. Just make whatever you want. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. And then I'm only putting pecans on six of them because like I said, my baby girl cannot eat pecans. So I wanted to keep six for her. And I decided to also do the loaf. And this is what it looked like. I had cut it before I realized I wanted to put the icing on it and they were like mom and babe put the icing on the bread too okay so I end up putting it on the bread and this is what it looks like this stuff is so moist and so freaking tasty you gotta try it and if you try it please let me know how it came out for you because it's almost gone like literally I have like a quarter of a loaf left and maybe three muffins so this went fast and I just made this yesterday evening so absolutely a great dish um, for the holidays. If you try it, let me know below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, share these videos. And if you have any requests for anything you want me to make, let me know below as well. And I will see you guys later, Gators.